Here's an AI video generated with Pika Labs. It runs at 8 frames per second. And here's that exact same video upsampled, running at 32 frames per second. Notice the difference? Pika Labs generates cool AI videos, but it's limited to a low frame rate. Here's how to increase the frame rate using a free AI frame interpolator. We'll use flow frames to upscale the frame rate. It's free and uses AI for frame interpolation. Check the description for the links. Click download now. There's an option to leave a donation on Patreon, but you can also just get the software for free. This will require a window system and a graphics card. Open up your downloads folder and run the installer. I'll click through and let the software automatically detect the ideal settings for my system. The installation will take a minute. When you're finished, don't automatically start up the software. Close the installer first. I found that if you start the software right after installation, it has some issues running. Start up flow frames. Go to the interpolation tab. When you open up flow frames for the first time, it'll take a second to load. I'll go over the basic settings to make this work. First click on browse video and navigate to the video file you'd like to upsample. I'll start with this bear walking. The original video is choppy and you can see the frames jittering between each other. The output directory is where the output video will be saved. By default, it's in the same location as where your input video is. I'll leave this as is. The output FPS determines how much your video will be upsampled. In the first box is the original video's FPS. My video was generated using Pika Labs, so it has 8 frames per second. In the second box is the frame rate multiplier. I'll set this to 4. 4 times 8 is 32, so that'll be the final frame rate of my interpolated video. You also have the option to change the video speed. I'll leave this as normal. Finally, you can choose the output format of the video. I'll use MP4. The AI model itself might depend on your system. I've got an NVIDIA graphics card, and I'll use the latest model. Click on interpolate, and flow frames will automatically upsample your video frame rate. If you got a long video, this will take a minute. You'll find the upsampled video saved to where your original input video was. Let's take a look. The motion in the upsampled bear video at 32 frames per second is much smoother. Here's that video of the flowers compared between 8, 32, and 64 frames per second. The difference is huge between 8 to 32 frames, while 32 to 64 has less of a difference. For videos with faster motion, the 32 to 64 FPS difference will be more clear. You can also create automatic infinite looping videos in flow frames. I'll interpolate a video of this ballet dancer. The original video is extremely choppy and looks like an animated GIF instead of an actual video. Let's see how flow frames does with this dancer. In the quick settings tab, check the loop box. Leave the other settings the way they are. Now click interpolate. Flow frames will generate a loop between the start and the end of the video. It's pretty impressive how smooth that transition is. And the infinite loop effect is seamless. Here's another loop video of a model walking. Here are some more frame interpolation results I got for a rainforest wildlife themed video I generated using Midjourney and Pika Labs. Now I haven't played with the other settings too much. To get more details, check out the original GitHub page for the project which has a more detailed guide. If you're interested in learning more about AI video generation, make sure to go watch my beginner tutorials. Also make sure to subscribe for the latest news and updates on AI images and videos. Thank <laughs> you.